Yeah, badass. Or not, you decide. Hello, okay, I'm back. Um, I finally found some time to do a second video. Gonna be uh, covering the song editor and the part editor as well. Uh, I'll try and keep it brief. Um, I apologize if I ramble on a bit. So, um, right, I covered the top button in the previous video, so if you haven't checked that out already, to do so, have a look. Uh, we're going to be going to the song editor here. Um, from the top, you got your scroll bar, which is the orange bar here, which lets you just move left and right through your track. Um, you have the move mode button there, which pretty much does what the scroll bar does, but you can move your finger anywhere on the page. Uh, you can still zoom in and out as well with that. Um, to be honest, I don't use that very much because you've got the scroll bar and you can still zoom if you put two fingers on, take one off, then you can do that as well. Um, but it's all down to personal preference. Uh, right, what's next? Follow mode up the top here. Basically, that makes wherever the scroll bar is, which, hang on, not the scroll bar, the playhead, which is this white line. Um, Wherever that is, when you've highlighted the follow button, it will follow, hence the name, the uh, the, the line. So if I zoom, was back to the beginning of the track, we're not at the beginning of the track now, we're on bar 209. Um, if I press play, it's going to follow it, so it's going to go all the way back. Like that. Way cool, okay. Uh, I've just got to find where I was. Come on, there we are. Um, loops. This blue bar at the top is your loop marker. Um, you select uh, select loops from your menu button. There we go. Turn it on, turn it off. Press play by mistake, your choice. Um, so we switch it on. You can choose where you want to uh, loop from and to by dragging on the grey tabs uh, at the start and the finish. Um, the loop function also plays a part in when you're mixing down a track. If you want to, what's called, bounce all your tracks into one file, uh, it's the same thing as mixing down. Oh, come on! Um, then the uh, the loop dictates where it will bounce or mix down from and to. Um, what is next? Obviously you've got all your mute buttons here, on and off. Um, and Okay, when you record something it stores all the events and all the record details and data and whatnot in a part, which is this box here. Um, to highlight a part, just tap on it, or you can select it like that, drag over it. Uh, when you select it, you get three of these orange handles here. The one uh, on the left lets you just move the whole part. Uh, the one next to it changes the length of the part. Let's do it with my other finger. Ta -da. And this one you can move the part up and down in your uh, song editor page. Like so. Cool. Okay, All right now along the bottom, tools. Change your tempo. This one, you can halve the tempo without having to 
work out what it is and do it below the plus and minus so you just hit that and shazam uh, and vice versa uh, time signature tap tempo if you don't know what the BPM of, of uh, is then you know what sort of, uh, speed you want to record something at you can hit that and actually tap your tempo in and it will know what speed roughly um, and you can work from there uh, clear you can get rid of all the bits in the whole song if you want um, or just any patterns not in use patterns is another thing I'll get to in a minute uh, preferences metronome volume and how many bars you got before it starts recording done right uh, history is just a list of undos you can undo the last thing from here but if you want to go steps like further back uh, it gives you more options here zoom selection or zoom just into the, the one bit you've got selected like that um, you can or you can zoom to the whole track which they pretty much do the same thing I'm, I might be wrong with the minimum but they seem to both just zoom out I haven't read up on that um, select whoopsie daisy select all select the whole thing inverse if you've got one part selected uh, I might as well just show you one part you don't want to select that part you want to select everything else done um, track select everything in the track um, to end we'll select, select everything after the bit you've selected like that to start the other way uh, add to is quite useful sometimes because if you want to select more than one bit but you've already selected that one if you go to select the next one here it will deselect the first one however if you select add to you can just go crazy look at that cool um, draw well lets you just draw in a new part like that you can then move that part around because it's selected you can lengthen it etc etc it's got nothing in it at the moment because it's just a part but you could uh, then record bits into that um, for now I am going to delete it um, what is next yeah that was the delete button I just used there nice okay uh, copy Let's zoom in a bit. Select your part. Copy will copy that whole part to the next available space. Like that. All the data and everything is exactly the same. It's copied over. But if I change anything in, say, the highlighted one, it won't affect that one. That will stay the same. I could change some notes in here. But that one will stay the same. Um, I'll get more onto that in the next video with uh, the part editor and the pattern editor. Um, okay, almost done. Bear with me. Um, more. You can, if you want to split uh, that part in two, then you got to move the playhead, which is the white bit again. To where you want to split it by touching in the uh, the top bar where the bar numbers are. Touch there wherever you want to split the two. So let's go halfway in between. Hit more. Hit split. And it didn't work. Split. There you go. So now you've got one part, two parts. Split in the middle. Um, if you don't want them split you can join them back up together again so select both of them hit more join lovely uh, properties I'll get on to the next video that is where you can then turn that part into a pattern 
It's as simply as hitting that button there. I'll show you. It gives you a number, um, and then all that information you can then copy that pattern, and it'll be the same as as long as it's got number one in the corner. It's going to be the same throughout. Uh, you can also, if you select it, drag it along, and it will copy. It will do it for you, so you don't have to copy loads and loads and loads of the same thing. It's just copied that one to there and to there as well. Which is kind of useful. Right. Um, I think that is pretty much it for the song editor. Uh, I will do the part editor in the next video. So um, thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Cheers guys. Bye bye.